Hey everybody, today I'm going to review the book Journey to America by Sonia Levitin. This book is about three girls, Ruth, Annie, and Lisa, and their mom escaping the Holocaust in World War II and the very heart of Germany on their to travel to America. So, how did they get out of the country? And how did they make it to America in the first place? That's what this book is about. So let's get into the story. First of all, let's just imagine the very start of it. This family was quite smart, because like they were Jewish and guessed Hitler's next move. He was gonna come and massacre pretty much every single Jew that lived in Berlin, the place where Lisa, Annie, and Ruth lived. Their dad, who was like moved out and headed to America to set up a, a, a good life for his family. But how? The, but then, mom and the three kids were alone. What was their next move? They went to Switzerland. Because they faked going on a vacation for a couple weeks, even though they were never gonna come back. So, the three girls were sent to this building that was reserved specifically for the children of Jewish refugees. And then the landlady, like the person that owned the place was like, or ran, or ran it, was very greedy. She spent half the money saved for the children's food on herself, meaning the kids had the bare minimum to survive. Uh, they all got very undernourished and quite skinny, which they spent about like four to five months in that place, which was very sad. Their mom went down with pneumonia, so she had to stay in the hospital for several weeks. So they kind of ended up like having to go to a foster family. So like each girl got sent off to a different family with a with at, each family had a kid that was like each girl's age. It was strange. But this book is in the point of view of Lisa, the middle child. And so she got sent off to a family with a girl that was two years younger than her with the name of Erica. Lisa and Erica got along really well. And then Lisa got involved in Erica's everyday life. They got along really well, despite the differences they had. Because Lisa was Jewish and Erica was Catholic. So look, all right, things are going better for now, but then Lisa got to see her mom again, which made things even better. But then she received shattering news. Her favorite aunt and uncle had died because of Hitler starting his plans, and how I can describe them? It's called cold-blooded murder. So Lisa and Lisa, Ruth, and Annie finally got to meet up with each other again at the house of Lisa's foster family. They all spent like a week or two there, and and like Lisa really enjoyed it. She and Erica had gotten along so well, they were almost best friends. Her mom got better as well, which was also a good thing. And then they took a route via the Atlantic Ocean on a ship, straight headed straight to America. And then one day, they saw a figure in the distance, someone holding up a something. What was that? It was Lady Liberty. They had made it to America. They saw it on the ship. And so it doesn't matter if they're gonna be at Ellis Island or stuck in different places. Really, they were safe. That's what mattered. You guys should really read this book. If you like good stories about freedom and getting and getting out of sticky situations, everyone go and read this book just to read an, an amazing story that's just uplifting. It makes me feel so much better after I read it. Yay!